CP the tool addict. Woo! <sighs> it is a it is a nice balmy evening in the great state of Iowa. We have a great tool video for you today because we have some new tools from Astro Tools. Henry's down here. He's got the heater going. The heater's nice and warm. He is laying right on top of it. Uh, just staying warm. And he's like, hurry up. Let's get this video made so we can go back inside and I can get some treats. Oh, that fired him up. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video today because I've got a couple of new tools from Astro. Nobody's seen from them. These are brand, one of these is brand, brand new. Two of them are new, er, new-ish. But uh, they're unsponsored, so they are 100% shield-free. Let's check them out. All right, gentlemen, I present you the Astro Nano Ratchets, and this is part number, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to leave a link in the description. The one thing that's about Astro Tools and their uh, their mar how they do stuff is they're pretty plain Jane, which is definitely something that I can applaud them on. And they keep it simple to keep the price down for you so that you can uh, enjoy the product. These are a $20 a piece ratchet. I will put a link in the description for these, and we're going to talk about what makes these so special uh, in retrospect. And it really, the real thing is, is they're simple. They're simple to them. They're very simple. Very simple handle. Very simple design switch. They are quick release. As you can see here, they have the chrome button. And then they, they release. They're not uh, anything really too crazy on the head. Uh, the kit or the head itself is a snap ring, which is a different design than some of the others that use snap rings, such as Matco, which uses a different kind of design like that. Now, looking at these, you're probably like, CP, what makes these ratchets so... Uh, phenomenal. And if you look at the size of my thumb, well, let's just take a look at a few. Let's just took a, take a look at everybody's ratchet that everybody likes to talk about, and that's the Matco, and talk about the size of the head of this thing versus the Matco. This thing is definitely a much thinner profile than Matco, as you can see here. Try to line it up side by side. You're getting a lower profile, so kind of takes the Matco out. And then the other one that's pretty relevant for being a low profile is the, the Koken uh, Zeal Series ratchet, which is the 3726Z. And as you can see here, it matches up pretty good with the Koken. But another one that people always go to would be the Tone. Now, this is a Blackhawk version of it, but if you can see here, very similar styles, interestingly enough. And uh, the head is still yet smaller than the Tone by a little bit, but they're very similar. As far as snap ring style, but you can see they definitely shaved off some material there to make it a little bit smaller. Profile is pretty thin, but very similar designs, except for when you get to the back side here. Uh, you can see that the button release for the Tone, uh, which is a rebranded Blackhawk, but it has a different switch mechanism on here, but they're both 72 tooth. Very nice. Now, this is a long ratchet, too, which is nice. This is the 3 8 version. We're going to show you the quarter inch and show you some comparisons. This is a 12 inch ratchet, so it gives you some nice length. Uh, let me grab a 12 inch straight ratchet. So this is really only a uh, fixed head 12 inch ratchet that I have, to be honest with you, but it's a power torque. But look at the size difference of the head. This is a 3 8 It's pretty unbelievable. For $20, uh, this is quite the ratchet. Uh, pretty strong. Uh, I haven't I haven't put a ton of torque on it yet, but I definitely uh, think that it's going to be. I've used the Tone ratchets forever. This ratchet, I uh, had I've had a set of these before. I had to rebuy them because I actually traded them off. But for for twenty dollars, this is a hell of a ratchet to get for a fixed head. So this will be replacing this one because that's all the fixed one I had. Um, but. <sighs> Besides the 12 inch, the quarter inch is even astoundingly phenomenal. Let's compare this to the snap on. So, this is my 12 inch snap on versus the, um, 
me zoom in just a little bit here. This is the 12 inch snap on versus the Astro. And wow, look at that head size. Isn't that just insane to the, to the size of that? I mean, this, this head is so tiny. It is absolutely, it's just a cute, cute little bugger. This one isn't 12 inch, I should say. My, this fixed heads are, these are eight for the quarter inch. No, 10 inch. 10 inch on the quarter inch. I will leave the part number for this in the description because I don't know what they, I don't remember what the part number was, but what a cute little devil with that. Now let's compare it to the Tone quarter inch because I do have a Tone inch. Now I don't have a, a 10 inch, but I have a quarter inch one. And uh, you will see once again that the Tone quarter inch or the Tone quarter inch versus the Astro Nano. They really done this one up right. Astro did making this. Look at the size difference of that head. I mean, you almost it disappears behind that behind that Blackhawk or that Tony style ratchet. Look at it. Just a cute little booger. So for twenty for forty dollars, this is definitely two ratchets that you what I would say must own. Let me zoom back out here just a little bit so you guys can get the full picture. And we will also compare this against my um Matco quarter inch too, just to show you. Uh, look at how much smaller that is than the Matco. I mean, it just engulfs it. The thin height wise, uh, I would say that the Matco still is not as small. Uh, get it up here next to it. Yeah, the the tone, the, the Astro is still a little bit shorter uh, face wise, and not only that because of the locking uh, part of it, it kind of raises it up above. It kind of is not fair. Head-wise, yeah, but you've still got this big knuckle in the way here if you're trying to go down and get in somewhere tight. This is going to be a very tight access ratchet. So I wanted to show these on my channel because I had been thinking about getting these for a long time. I know they're not really extremely new, but what a cute little devil. You know, I mean, just uh, 72 tooth, very nice. And I, I have good faith in these because I, I really feel like these are probably made or manufactured in the same facility as the Tone Ratchets in some sense. And they have, uh, you know, knocked off some features to, in order to get the price on it. But for $20, you, you just can't beat it. So this is a very conservative tool haul, to be honest with you. The last thing I'm going to show you, it's got to do with something a little bit different. A lot of you guys might recall following me. Some, some years, or uh, two years ago, this came out from OTC. And this is a hook tool for your under, for your A-arms. So when you're popping ball joints or something like that. And the reason I got this tool was because it was a less expensive option than the tool that I really wanted to get. Now, what you do is you push your, your uh, bar through here. Let's just say this is your, um, this is your uh, pry bar. You place that through here, and then you press that against your A-arm. And hook this over your arm and now you can use that for leverage once again using leverage as your friend and we all know in mechanics that anytime you can use leverage when you're prying against something this is a great tool and it was relatively inexpensive i think this was like 20 bucks or something like that and i'll leave a link for this otc tool in my description because they're super cheap and they became super popular um i i got one of these right when they first came out from otc i was definitely one of the first guys that showed these uh and they were just super awesome. But now Astro has came out came out with this 78914. This is what I call the hockey puck. <laughs> and if you guys watched uh, Eric O, this beautiful thing right here is a thing of beauty. It hooks. You can put it up in there and hook it in there, and then you get leverage. Hook that big hook right here, which is removable. Let me see if I can. This is hard to do with one hand. This hook right here. Uh, moves and then you got adjustability with it to move to all these different holes But this tool was is right now dirt cheap like 70 bucks for this whole tool and what a beast of a tool it is You hook that to your a arm Maybe I'll put a picture in there to kind of show if you don't understand what I'm talking about hook this in your a arm It's got a nice rubber handle here very cheap to, very easy to put together you get when it comes it comes in a package uh, it comes in this package like this right here. And this is called the control arm four foot pry bar tool. So you can put it on your lower control arms, uh, free pull down 
uh, wishbone suspension, aids in ball joints, keep, you know, service axles, comes in this, uh, you know, so pretty cool. I don't even think there's nothing on the back here that really says anything, just weight and whatnot, but pretty cool tool, to be honest with you, for a mere $79 or $70, or whatever it is. Definitely awesome new tools that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, one bolt to put it together, and then you add this in, and it's got a big nut over here on this side. You screw that nut in, two washers on each side. You can easily sw switch it into those different positions. Dang, this thing's awesome. I can't wait to use this. Four foot of leverage makes it awesome, which the pry bar worked great, but this thing will work even better. Not only that, I've seen guys where they hang weights on here too to kind of help them aid into, uh, you know, popping, them, popping a lower control arm off. But what an awesome tool to have sitting around, you know, when you need it. So better to need and not have than have and not need. Or better to have and not need than need and not have. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's today's, view, that's today's tool haul. Hope you enjoyed it. The Astro, this is 100% Astro based. Uh, once again, I think for under $100, this is a kick-ass deal. I got these uh, pretty pretty uh, stoked. Uh, you can't beat it for 100 bucks. Jump in there and get them. All the links will be in the description for this stuff. So if you want to check it out for yourself, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.